oh, hold on a sec, sum of these and enter and make that a percent home tab number percentify adding some decimals or I can use the Poisson cumulative function so I can say this is the Poisson dot dist and this I'm going to take the X is I'm just going to hard code is going to be three and then comma the mean 2.73 but this time instead of taking it at one point in time having just three people arrive I want to go from zero up to three people so that's going to be the cumulative distribution where, where I could type either true or a one so I'm going to type a one close it up and then I'm going to say that this is a percent adding some decimals so there we have it so it gets a little bit more complex if you were to say for example you want uh, between between let's say between two and five people between two and five so I could once again go over here and say okay well if I'm going to say this equals the sum of between two and five now if you're not including two or five then I would say that would be either three uh, or four so you got to be kind of careful on where the starting point is are we saying equal to and including two and five or between uh, you know the two and the five so I'll make that a percent and then we could do that with a formula and if I did that with a formula notice what I kind of have to do is I've got to take the Poisson distribution for the upper limit which in this case the upper limit being five but note I'm not including five in this case so I'm actually going up to and including four and then subtracting out that lower amount which is going to be up to and including the two and that will leave me with just the three and the four the middle points which is what we're looking at so it looks something like this equals Poisson dot dist and I'd pick up the X so the first X is going to be the upper limit not five but four because uh, that's what's going to be included in it because it has to be below five comma then we'll pick up the mean 2.73 again and then comma it has to be cumulative up to, up to that point so then I can subtract out the lower bit so we're going to say it's going to be cumulative which is either type in true or put a one and then I'll close that up and then subtract out another Poisson dot dist and this time I'm going to be picking up an x of two so up to and including two is what I got to subtract out this bit over here and then comma the mean is still 2.73 comma this also needs to be cumulative and therefore I can type in true or I can put a number one close up the brackets enter check it out home tab number group percentify adding some decimals you know I could add decimals here if I wanted to and so those those are the ways that we can calculate so those are the kinds of questions that we can then ask ourselves what's the likelihood that amount how many people will arrive within a certain time frame either one absolute number two people arriving within in this case the one minute time frame or some combination such as zero you know zero to five people or what's the likelihood that you know from six to ten people are going to arrive or sit over six people are going to arrive remember down below it's it's unlikely that you're going to have anything that's going to be way down here although we're skewed to the right on this curve so it's it's theoretically possible that infinity people arrive in a one minute time period but it's quite unlikely right so if you go six and above you can kind of sum up everything down here and say well what's the likelihood we just get you know swamped over something over the six and, and and you can those are kind of the questions that uh you can get and if obviously those can be useful for planning purposes let's clean it up a little bit i'm gonna then i'm gonna add some blue to our data home tab font group bucket i'm gonna make this blue and bordered i'll do that here too i'll select these control shift down and I'm going to make that bordered drop down if you don't have that blue it's right here in the fill color I'm going to do that here too scrolling to the right control shift down I'm going to make that blue and bordered I'll make this blue and bordered just to color it the way we normally do we could actually make these a little skinnier make column D a little skinnier and maybe I'll select column D 
home tab format paint it to column I, format paint it to column M possibly, and then over here I might format paint it to column X for skinny X, and then here let's make this blue and bordered, home tab font group border blue, let's take the skinny X home tab format painter skinny AA, let's take this data make that blue selecting these items control shift down i'm going to make that blue and bordered uh here and so we have that by the way if i total this up equals the sum of this or i can do it this way alt equals let's do that again alt equals it should come out to one or uh 100 that's kind of a check number that we can have let's make that percent here let's put this as a total let's put an underline here home tab font group underline and then on the right let's put some blue around this stuff go into home tab font group border blue let's take skinny double a home tab paintbrush skinny ai put a skinny ai there and might as well check the spelling while we're here. Spelling checky. And it's good enough. All right.